Okay. I am in a room. Hold on. Let's see here. Like a crypt of some kind. And there is a tomb with three different sets of hieroglyphs that I can change. And then there's a lever on it. Um, okay, hold on. I don't have anything here. Hold on. There'll be something with hieroglyphs on it somewhere. I got hieroglyphs too. Um, gosh. May, uh, maybe this isn't like the first where one person directs and one person does. Maybe we both need to do stuff. I'm not sure. Do, do you have any kind of instructions or no? I pull the lever and it randomizes these things. I've got a red lever. I pull it and it randomizes the hieroglyphs. Okay, so let me tell you what kind of hieroglyphs I got. So how many are you looking for? Three. Is there any kind of hint of anything on your end or no? Uh, it's, the lever is red. I don't know if that helps. Absolutely doesn't. But here's what I got. Okay, so I got a hieroglyph that it's like a, it's like a person, but it has cat ears. Make sense? No leg. And then there's one that it's basically the same thing, but without the cat ears. Then I have one that's an hourglass. Two of them, like an hourglass. Yep, that you. What you told me made sense. You, you just did something. Would you? I completed it. You, what you, those, the ones you told me were the ones that did what we needed. I have a book here. Oh, a thousand suns. The intensity burns at a thousand suns. Got it. Okay. Oh, okay. So to my right, I got this um, kind of like an order. So it's like a, it's in a circle. Okay. Um, six points. So it's basically two, one on the top, one on the bottom, two on the right, two on the left. Right. So like a circle. Right. So. I'll start from the top middle and I'll read it to the right going clockwise. So first one, it's, it, it has a, um, a candle melting and it has like a crossed out, kind of like a crossed out symbol with the num with the Roman numeric of one. Then the one next, it's uh, the cross out symbol. Then it's Roman numeral one, Roman numeral three, Roman numeral four, Roman numeral two. Ah, the first two, which I mentioned was the cross out was the Roman numeral four, but then it has a cross out on it, a single cross out. Does that help you any? That's Roman numeral. Uh, okay. That's five. Has a diagonal cross through it. Yes. There is six candles here that I need to light in a certain order. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it's, um, so it goes six, five, one, three, four, two from, from the 12 o'clock mark going clockwise. Three, four, 
two. Okay. Starting from where now? Hold on. I've got to figure out where. Oh, there's other symbols on here. Is, did you see any other symbols? I have a red one that looks like... I have a blue one that looks like a scorpion. Basically, two triangles pointed at the top. It's like a scorpion looking thing with a circle tail at the end, curved to the right. That's the color blue. And now the red, it's basically. <laughs> what the hell is it? <laughs> it looks like a lobster. <laughs> Um, it's basically, it's two circles and then a U connecting it and then it's lying down across. Holy crap. I don't even know how to explain this, but basically it's, um, it looks like a, it looks like a lobster kind of thing. So it's symmetric. Okay. The top is basically, there's two circles. It's like a U shape with two circles. In the bottom middle part, it's like two, two, um, it's a C and a reverse C. And then on the bottom is a circle with an X. Let me know if that helps you a little bit. I see something similar, but it's not, let me see here. I think I need to figure out this six Roman numeral, the six numbers here. Is there any indication on what's first? Oh, you know what? There is one thing here I, I forgot to tell you. So, um, on the, so these Roman numerals are on a candle. Okay. Basically... The candle looks like it melts more and more based on the Roman numeral on there. Does that help? No, I don't think so. Okay, so what what is what is the Roman numeral on your part? Why don't you tell me what you're looking for? I have six candles surrounding like a pentagram thing in the center and there are symbols on this pentagram going around it and then on the walls i have a red carpet with a bunch of symbols and then a red it's not a carpet but like a flag type thing on another wall across from it and let's start with the candles first do the candles look any different in the pentagram I'm standing. No, it just, I can light them up. I've, I lit them up before. And once I light them all up, they'll turn off. So they have to go in some certain order. That's what I was telling you before. I, I know that, but I don't know how to tell which one is number one. That's what I'm trying to figure out. If there's some kind of indication. Twelve o'clock. I'm going to tell you the numbers. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know where 12 o'clock is in here. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's say that you reached it is the 12 o'clock. And that's the way I did it. It didn't work. Let me try it this way. Give me the numbers in order again. The, the way the way you walked in is the flag on the left and right of where you would consider 12 o'clock. Yes. Red is on my left. Blue is on my right. Okay, so that's correct. So... You need to light up number one first, which is on the bottom right. Done. Got it? Yes. So? We're 
talking at the same time. Yes, I lit up number one. Okay, then you're going to do number two, which is the top left. Okay. Then you're going to do number three, which is um, just the bottom, six o'clock. Okay. Okay, then you're going to do number four, which is the bottom left. Okay. Top right, number five. Okay. Number six, top. Okay, that did something. All right, that lit up symbols on this red and blue thing. Yep, my symbols lit up too. So, the blue is the symbol of a scorpion, as I mentioned. It's basically two triangle hands above its head, and then the tail curves to the right with a circle at the end. Two triangle hands... Okay, so on mine, I have a large, like, diamond shape, and it has, like, a squiggly, not even a squiggly line. And then at the top left, there's another triangle shape that's lit up. And on the bottom, it looks like there's four symbols I'm supposed to click. I can click, when I hover over these things, it looks like I can click on certain ones. So I guess I have to make it. Okay, do you have triangles? I have one that has two triangles at the top of a U. Yes, you want that one. Okay, yeah, it's connecting a line between them, okay. And the circle is basically a line going straight down, and then it curves to the right, like a, like a reverse J. Okay, hold on. I have three circles here. I have a circle that has one dot in the center, a circle with no dot in the center, or a circle with, like, another circle in it. It's not a dot. It has another, like, open space in the middle. No. No, no, no. Okay, so it's basically a circle. It's right... So you know where your triangle and the U is? Between the U part should be a circle head. A circle... And then that circle on the bottom of it, the six o'clock of that circle, is a line going down. I got it, but I think that I have to build this thing. So I have three circles. Inside the circle, is the circle empty or is there another dot inside the circle? There's no, there, there, there's no dots. It's empty. Okay. All right. I, I clicked on that one. And then what's the bottom of it? It's, I have two, uh, I have three things that curve to the left, right? You said it curves to the left? To the right. It curves to the right. Curves to the right, and then at the end of that tail is a circle. Got it. There's technically that little arm thing. One goes up, one goes left, uh, down. Did that work? No, it's not letting me click this one. I don't know why. Are we done with the blue? No, no, I did it wrong. Okay, I have to do it in a different order. I got it. Okay, so it has the J thing on the bottom with the circle on the to end of the tail, right? Yes. Okay, got it. I have to do it. I I was I, I guess you have to do it in a certain order. I got it. All right, so I'm going to the red one. So on the red one, I have a circle. Or I have like a circle with an X through it. That's all that's lit up right now. It has a circle with the X through it. Yes. Okay, so that's on the very bottom. So we're gonna wake our or work our way up, okay? Okay. Um, the half circles, it's side by side, correct? It's one to the left, one to the right, and then there's a line attaching them. Is that correct? 
I see that one, but that one, I have to pick something before that. But yes, I see that one. And that one, the, the, the line does not cross the, the half circles, right? Okay, yes, I see that one. That's in the bottom right. Okay, so I'm going to guess that I know which the other one is. Go ahead. Okay, so then the the the, the middle part, which, you know, um, uh, goes through is basically, it's like a, it's like a cross, kind of like a sword in the stone, okay? The only difference is the sword, as the sword um, south of, let's just call that the hilt of the sword. So the sword sword is stabbed into the circle with the X. Right below the hilt, it's like a reverse of V. Okay, I'm guessing this is it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, at the top is basically the U with the circles, which touches through the handle for the U part. Got it. Okay, that lit up something. Uh, that made the pentagram light up. I don't know, it went on fire. Is there one more puzzle on your end? There has to be because the door didn't open. I, I don't see it though. A whole bunch of um, hieroglyphs too. This is going. This is like back at where the um. The yeah, 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 yeah. Now I can press buttons on this pentagram. I was saying there's some order we have to press these in. I didn't hear what you said though. Yes, there is an order we need to go through this end. I just see it now. Over. Okay, tell me the order over. There's two types. We're gonna try the first one. If the first one doesn't work, we'll try the second. So I'm gonna just call out by the um the 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 symbol. So first it's the X with the line. Okay, done. We'll just call that three o'clock, and now do the um, the seven, seven eight o'clock, the bo the bottom left. The mask. No, that's that would be the no the, the fatter hourglass. Done. Okay, now the double X, the bottom one. Done. Okay, now it's the fish symbol. Done. Wing and the uh, lightning bolt. Done. The hourglass. Done. The mask. Done. And then the the what a, the thing with the line going through the eye. That's it. Open the door. Thanks for watching come back for part two as we go into the next room to work on the next set of puzzles.